Hello, happy Sunday, friends. Google Plus, YouTube, wherever you are, Twitter, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I was thinking about doing something different today, apart from my vlogs, to add to what I'm doing already. I've been walking around with this in my head all morning, so it's Sunday, and I decided to go ahead and do this. Okay, so what it is, most people post a lot of inspirational quotes, which I love. Um, I think they're something that you can take something away from a lot of times. A lot of people don't like them, which is fair enough, but I do. And so what I'm going to do is do a, hopefully, a daily quote to give and also add a bit of blurb to it of what I think about it. So today's is Change Brings Opportunity. And this quote will come up at the end of this video. <coughs> and it's a nice picture with clouds over the ocean. It looks lovely. Really nice picture. So that's probably the one I'm going to be using each day. But this to me is something I thought that <coughs> nobody's done before. I've not seen anybody do it before. So you've got a quote and a bit of, um, and what can we say? A little bit of something else. Now at the moment, I'm going through a change in my life. And today's quote is called, Change Brings Opportunity. And it's by Nido QBN. And I think there's, there's something to that. Because if you don't change, you can be stuck where you are. And it's a bit like being on a treadmill, going round and round. Or in a circle of life. Just doing the same things, not getting anywhere, getting frustrated, getting anxious, getting depressed, blah, 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 blah. And for me, that's where I've been for a long time. But now, I'm finding it hard to change. Especially old habits. Old habits are like a comfortable bed. Easy to get into, but hard to get out of. The, the science of habits says that... <clears throat> it can take between 30 and 60 days to change your habits. So, <clears throat> as you can imagine, if you do the same things over 30 days repeatedly all the time, you're just um, reinforcing those habits all the time. So that can go to explaining one of the reasons why we do get stuck in ruts and stay there because it's comfortable and fear has a big thing to do with this as well <clears throat> fear of failure and that becomes part of your subconscious process if you have a fear of doing something it doesn't matter what it is whether it's talking to women or fear of failure fear of success i mean there can be so many fears and they're all irrational ones if you've ever heard of a psychologist called ellis i strongly recommend that you um, look some of his stuff up because he's built a list of 10 irrational irrational beliefs and I'm going to <coughs> if I can find them for you and then you can see how stress actually comes into your life through the ways that you think so here's the first one the idea that you must have love or approval from all significant people in your life. So, if you're not getting approval or love from all the significant people in your life, that's going to cause problems, isn't it? You can see that. Number two, the idea that you absolutely must be thoroughly competent, adequate and achieving, or the idea that you must be competent, competent or talented in some important area. So if you don't feel that you are competent, adequate and achieving in something, then obviously that's going to cause anxiety and stress. Number three, the idea that other people absolutely must not act obnoxiously and unfairly. And when they do, you should blame and damn them and see them as bad, wicked or rotten individuals. So that's another important point. Number four, the idea that you must have, that you have to see things as being awful, terrible and catastrophic when you're seriously frustrated or treated unfairly. So if somebody treats you badly, 
then it can be the way you sit in your mind. You can see it as being terrible when it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Number five, the idea that you must be miserable when you have pressures, pressures and difficult experiences and that you have little ability to control and cannot change your disturbed feelings. So again, it's all about association and how you think about things. So, what it means is if you've got too much pressure, then it doesn't mean to say you've got to be miserable necessarily. Number six, the idea that if something is dangerous or fearsome, you must assess about it and frankly try to escape from it. So that there might be something that you might see as fearful, but it's best not to run away from it and face it head on. Number seven, the idea that you can easily avoid facing many difficulties and self-responsibilities and still lead a fulfilling experience. So if you don't face your difficulties, then it's going to be hard for you to have a, a fulfilling life in existence. And that applies to anything, really. The idea that your past remains all important and because something won't strongly influence your life, won't strongly influence your life, it has to keep determining your feelings and behaviour today. So that's about living in the past, basically. So if something's affected you in the past, you tend to keep living it over and over again rather than moving on. Number nine, the idea that people and things absolutely must be better than they are, and it is awful and horrible if you cannot change grim, cannot change life's grim facts to suit you. So that's how you see life in a negative or positive um, <clears throat> that's whether you, how you see things in your mind um, the idea that people and things must absolutely be better than they are and it is awful and horrible if you cannot change life's good facts to suit you which is like a positive and negative switch so let's just take an example here if somebody doesn't contact you after a long time you might think oh they don't like me anymore or they're not bothered about me but the, the the positive on that is the positive the switch is they might be busy or doing other things or you know seeing other people it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't want to talk to you it's just how you sit in your mind and number 10 the idea that you can achieve maximum happiness by inertia and inaction or by passively and completely enjoying yourself. So I think that means um, you can be happy by either not doing something or not doing something. And if... I think that means if you either do too much or too little, I think, and by passively and completely enjoying yourself. So those are 10 irrational beliefs by Albert Ellis. And I'll put the um, link in the video, at the bottom of this video, so you can read them yourself if you want to. And then you, you might have an idea, an idea of um, why you might have stress in your life. So I hope this has been useful to you and enjoy the quote that comes up at the end of this video. Enjoy your Sunday and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye now. Take care. God bless. See you around.